Hey guys and welcome back. We are out by the tubs because I am way overdue for collecting the fish. Um, I don't know where the time has gone, but it is certainly overdue to get these guys out. The daytime temps have suddenly dropped to the 60s with overnights in the low 50s. Uh, up until today, it has been significantly warmer, so it wasn't a big deal that I was running behind, but make sure you're keeping an eye on your weather, and if you haven't brought your fish in yet, you should do it soon. So today, I'm probably just going to set up a time lapse as I do this. I'm going to uh, cut out all of the plants and then scoop the fish and see what we've got. Um, I know it's been a minute since I filmed. Sorry, um, just haven't had my head in the game. So we're going to get this done today and then hopefully get back on track with some content, both outdoors and fish related for you guys. Let's get started. So real quick before I get started, uh, part of the reason things have been so neglected is Hurricane Ida came through here. And not only did my basement flood, but part of my roof got ripped off. I lost an interior wall in my house and I've had to deal with that. So you'll see parts of my yard are dug up as I was trying to divert water. There's kind of hoses everywhere and it's, it's really been a bit of a mess and sort of preserving the integrity of my house was a bit more important than worrying about my tubs. But you can see the plants did really, really well this year. And again, I will trim all these back and overwinter them in my greenhouse. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see that process again. This is my fifth year of doing summer tubbing on YouTube uh, and my 15th year of doing it in life. So I'm not sure if you guys want to see that content again or not. If you do, just let me know. And if enough people want it, I'll do it. Uh, if not, basically all I do is cut all these baskets which are affixed with zip ties on the edge of my tub cut all of the plants down to just above the top of the tub throw them in a tub in my greenhouse with a little bit of water and leave them till spring and then they all start growing again I flood them and I have the plants all over um, but yeah I am going to grab some scissors grab some tubes uh, I've got my wheelbarrow ready to throw the plants in to carry over to the greenhouse uh, and we'll get this party started So I know I said let me know in the comments if you want me to show the plants, but I just went ahead and did it. All the lilies are cut back and in this tub, we'll cover them with black plastic. And then I pulled all the roots off all the marginal tubs um, and then trimmed almost everything back to just, this is a good example. See, I just hack everything back. Um, and then I'll put water into the tubs with the plants and again I'll just cover the lilies. Now in previous years I've also done this in my yard where I just flip over the tubs and put them over top of the plants for them to overwinter and then once the cold freezes are done I flip them back over and let the plants start to grow. You could also do this in your garage. Um, I've overwintered my lilies in my basement before just putting them actually in a fish box. You basically just keep them dark until spring and then open them back up. Um, Sometime in the next few weeks, I've got to harvest all the shrimp from these four tubs as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, as always, thank you guys for the continued support. Uh, sometime in the next week, I'll show you the fish that I collected as well. So it's pretty impressive how much root structure is created from these things. Anyway, thanks again. See you in the next one.